everybody. Hope you're all having a brilliant start to the weekend. For today's message, I'm going to jump straight into the reading. We're going to tune into the Divine Masculine Energies. We have the first card here. I am stuck in my pride and ego, feeling very frustrated and foolish. I know that my behaviour has really disappointed you. And I'm even more annoyed with myself. So once again, it's about regret. It's about wishing I could have done things better. But that's not the way forward. The way forward is to heal through it. Because you know how much you love your twin flame. You know how much you're one with your twin flame. Similar to all of creation and the divine. And just like you want to be with every piece of your twin flame, every bit of me. You want to gobble me up and love me with all that you are. In all I am, the divine feels the same way about us. Enrapture us in all her love. Love every bit of us. Share every, every bit of herself with every piece of us. Balancing act. So we're coming into balance with the dynamics, with the energies, with ourselves, with each other. And please remember, you don't need an external looking relationship. Just have an inner relationship with yourself and I happen. That's how it works. Don't relate to what you see on the outside. It's pointless. It's nonsense. It's meaningless. It's inevitable. You got this. Expect nothing, and then all else is a bonus. And there you are. You are irreplaceable. Of course you're irreplaceable. There's nobody else for me but you. Please know this. And it's not a one-way relationship. It's a one-way responsibility for yourself. And all the responsibility for you and your experiences are with you. And that's what I'm teaching you. Don't be afraid of rejection because the connection is real and eternal. So if there's stuff happening on the outside that's not so pretty, just know that the situation is bringing you your man. Not that other people around our union are in on, the, on that part, on the part they're playing in our relationship, but that is the truth. So see things from a higher perspective. Alignment. It's all about releasing all the misaligned thoughts and beliefs and realigning them with love. If there's a bad situation on the outside, it's just pointing to a misalignment. But it's always the experience that's caused you to reach out for more. The blocks in the way are building blocks to build your kingdom. Focus on the lotus, not the swamp. Focus on the delight. Use the bad to turn towards the good. And when, and you will be faced with things that tell you you can't have it because of this or that reason, but they're all bullshit. There's no reason you can't have this. Surrender is the key to the divine, and that's how you win. Romance. Romance is returning to us. Because we're one consciousness. Nothing can ever change that. Nothing can become... Nothing can come between you and you. If there's stuff that's apparently in the way, present, we both placed it there and it's a function served. It'll be showing me a lesson. Perhaps the lesson is not to look for love outside of ourselves. Or the situ situation could be showing you, showing you where you feel that you can't be in union, showing you your blocks. I could only love you but where, when I show you something to heal. The place where harmonious twin flame union happens is complete peace. Not necess so you don't necessarily have to be ecstatic about any current situation, but just at peace about it. I'm not the source of your love. It's not for him to declare. 
but just be at peace with yourself here. You are special good vibrations because you are so special to me. There's nobody else for me. I, I choose you. I can only choose you. I don't choose anyone else. I can't choose anyone else. Only you in the whole of the universe for the rest of eternity. So I look to the divine because the divine only sees absolute truth. Your harmonious, our harmonious twin flame union. I can never belong to another. I belong only and forever to you. There's nothing in truth in the way of our union. Obstacles are just a relationship to fear that we're healing through, that we're releasing. And maybe showing you the part of your consciousness that's afraid of love as well as compelled to love. We both are both afraid and compelled at the same time. But if I'm not with you, I please know that I'm not having a great time. That's my relationship with fear coming up. Loving you is knowing what true love is. There is no logical explanation for my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love, eternal love, my forever love. As we get more peaceful, anything that stands in the way or any illusion that stands in the way, that apparently stands in the way of our union, becomes revealed. The more you align with truth and love, the more I align with truth and love, and the more I can, I can see the truth, the divine truth, that you're my love. So choose love uh, to lead me through this. Move far, far through the challenges. It's an inside job. Be more, become more and more and more aware of love and everything naturally falls into place. You are divinely wired for per perfection. There you are. Queen of cups. Queen of hearts. Intuitive and sensitive. So choose to do this. End of. Claim yourself. Allow the divine in you to claim the divine in me. Show up. Allow the divine to do it through you. Choose for the divine to do the claiming and the words will flow out when we communicate. That's what I want to be claimed by. Allow the divine to carry you. It's my desire for you to know how loved you are. You have all of the divine and you have all of me. All the divine wants you to see. Truth is union. All else is a lie. No what ifs. I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. Well, the only responsibilities I have are for working through whatever comes up in my consciousness, whatever challenge or upset arises and you're not responsible for that so don't be afraid of triggering me don't walk on eggshells around me don't censor yourself because then I can't recognize you if you do trigger me then it's my responsibility it's my trigger not it's not your problem now you just do your own stuff and I'll do mine and that's how I manifest you my twin flame You're claiming the divine deep in my core, who I truly am. Claiming from this place of knowing that I'm not separate from you. Uproot the old program. Refuse, even a moment's suffering, refuse to accept separation. The fact that we can create such situations shows how powerful we are. The divine only ever wants harmonious union. The rest is a big fat lie. And back to what you love, back home, back to ourselves, back to each other, back to the divine. So remember, the one you're claiming, I've already claimed you. There's no need to convince me of anything. Just show your truth to the one who knows it. Show up and allow. Strengthen your connection to the divine. Just you and the divine. Go with the divine. Take your... 
peace, your meditations with you. Release any nervousness. The growth happens there. The outcome's inevitable. It's an easy progress. Clearly see and know that this is the way home. Unleash who you are. My attraction to you is our attraction to each other. It's immense. Let love grow, you know how you feel. So really choose to feel your feelings here. This is what you called in to heal. Maybe I had a lot of wondering about these things. Find peace and trust. The divine, the divine wants you to find deeper love here. It will work out. Choose your experience. There will be challenges to work through. Find peace there. Choose truth that you and me are meant to be together. This is love. Bring it back to your heart. There's never any threat to our connection, no attack. Take responsibility for how you feel and choose love. Claim your support from the divine, trust the divine. Develop a relationship with the divine. It helps you claim your man. Any lesson, any unpleasant lesson, any person around our union is actually giving us a gift, a lesson to help us get closer to love. So I threaten my defences to love that I've constructed. I may have never found love before because you weren't there, but of course I know that you're my love. I absolutely do know, I absolutely know. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it and have a wonderful start to your weekend. If you would like to implant coaching or a personal reading, please check the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Much love. Bye-bye.